He bait him back. Or is he not? I'm invis. If he gets a chance where he stands still. He's right on me. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Right, right to the right. They're both over here and they're running. Wizard, try and get on him. I hit them both. Oh, we got him. Oh, no. oh, there might be another God. guy here. I'd seen a blue yeah, cloak. Give me the money. Yeah, stuff dying over here, Shine. Okay, come. Oh, wait. Yep. I don't know if they saw me. Send it. I hit him in the face. He's turning. Yep. Yeah, get in your place. Way. Oh, he missed his swing on me. <laughs> I want to show you guys one other build, which we had massive success with the other night until I misplayed. And that's your flat additional damage stacky, right? It's insane. Especially with the windlass. All right, so we got four, six, nine, <laughs> 12 additional, right? Just insane, insane. So we had a windless. It was doing 89 damage per shot yesterday. We one shot, I don't know, nine people. It was insane. It's so good. And we have a penalty taking weapon mastery. So you can run this, you can run a normal crossbow, and you're going to chunk everyone. If you hit your shot in the head, leading into a fight, you will take a massive advantage. Again, it's going to focus on move speed rolls as best you can. Get your armor rating up. The higher your health can be, the better, obviously. But you're not really relying on melee with this build. You're playing almost like a plate ranger. And then when you have to get in, someone gap closes on you. Then you're also able to stat check because your long seal deals, you know, 57 damage, depending on your rolls. You know what I mean? Just insane amount of damage. It's worked incredibly well. We lost the last kit I built like this to my misplay, getting too close into melee while trying to greet a windless reload. <clears throat> but we survived about eight runs in a row, made plenty off the run to justify the kit build. This only costs like 800 gold, guys. So... Like I said, you're going to focus on move speed. So probably Templar, heavy game sin. If you can find some really good move speed rolls, you can up it to like fine or maybe the Dark Curse. Dark Curse has terrible base rolls, but you can get plus two all on it. It's justifiable. You can focus plus two all, plus one all, whatever, and a move speed as best you can. Honestly, they're few and far between right now, so you take what you get. It's okay. You could maybe run Padded Tunic if you can find a good one too and just bank on hitting your shots. Rather than playing melee focus at all, you will concede a lot of your PDR roll. Don't forget. All right. Crusader helmet is this. Like I said, I'm not running anything else. It looks too damn good anyways to run anything else. It's freaking gorgeous. They need to add maybe a little like chainmail piece or like another piece of this, this game sin material down at the neck. Oh, it would look so good. All right. Back on track though with the build. Heavy gauntlets, light gauntlets. Same exact thing as the last build, except you want your additional damage as your primary role. Additional damage, then move speed, additional damage, then HP, additional damage, then agility, vigor, strength, dex, your choice, whatever you think you need for the build. I found these for 50 gold, so it was just that, you know, you gotta buy. <laughs> you just gotta buy it. Plate pants still, same thing. I'm running these, 
plus 20 armor ratings insane plus two all is insane right on this especially this has high value these are pretty best to me that's a max roll on armor it carries the pdr it lets us wear our light foots right for our move speed get it as high as we can we're rocking a vigilant cloak just because i found it this was 75 gold it was vigor 2 or no vigor 1 before the update and then they normalized the rarity scaling for baked in stats on cloaks so it's now it's two with this pendant is pretty good like i said you'd want plus two all and additional physical that's gonna run you you know four grand probably already even <laughs> insane but something with action speed is good helps you with your reload speed nothing wrong with that stacking action speed is great for the build other than that i would run fox pendant bear pendant or wind locket with plus two all if you can get it but your primary focus is the additional damage. So get a damage roll and then maybe action speed roll. Or flat HP roll or HP percent roll. I don't remember which rolls on them. Rings or whatever you can find. I'm not going to lie. Your priority should be Fox. Additional physical damage. And then Dext. Or what's the bigger one called? Vitality. And then HP rolls. Right? Stuff like that. I found these for cheap cheapest ones i could get that had decent rolls you can get away with this easily my last build had green agility green finesse both at plus two and plus two i think so and they cost 50 gold each back then price for additionals gone up a bit over the last few days but it's still pretty affordable to build this and you'll have a lot of success with it like i said you can run the windlass you can drop weapon master you can go buy a purple crossbow for a couple hundred have a lot of success you can run weapon mastery you can i'm going to be grabbing a longbow for the next run to hot swap between this and the longbow plus 13 damage on a longbow hello that's insane we're going to try it until desync gets fixed i'm going to embrace range and ranger there's not much more you can do with the power that wizards have with spell overload being the absolute best thing they've ever added to the game you kind of have to have range to compete with their DPS and their ability to throw out 10 zaps and 8 fireballs and never have to have a reload feature like range physical damage has. So until they change up, so overload woods are going to be eating best in class for sure. Bard's right behind them because their buffs are insane. But we got to be able to survive. So we're running additional damage and blasting wizards and it's working great. So yeah. Two builds, additional physical damage, stacking. You can hot swap through your perks. This is what I've been running for both of these. Shield Mastery, Defense Mastery, Swift, Weapon Mastery. I am in love with the Windless. Anyone who's seen my last video knows I am been cackling like a hyena every time I blast someone and one-shot them. And it's been very fun. If you think you can get away with your PDR, if you get decent rolls, I would suggest running... Where is it? Sword Mastery. Swordmaster gives you that 5% action speed with your longsword drawn. It's super good. Having over 20% action speed with the longsword, especially after they're changed to the recovery and wind up slow, to minus 15% instead of the full minus 35, is going to be insanely beneficial chasing down players when you get on top of them. So, especially with the zoom zoom build, right? Our zoom zoom build here. At 300 move speed. You take this out, you're at 270, you pop sprint, you're at 320. You're chasing people down through their, you know, naked fists out running. And then when you get on top of them, if you have this on, boom, they're not getting out. You're chunking them, you're blasting them. You know what I mean? Even with the additional physical damage run here, we still have 286, 250, we're still hitting 300. We're probably getting on top of people even with our longsword out right and then on top of that we have a longsword that deals 60 damage on it so your move speed is crucial if you can get away with the pdr honestly i don't think i can here the difference between 42 and 48 is pretty substantial getting as close as you can to that 50 percent is pretty huge honestly if i could get over it i would every time I'm trying to save up some of my gold instead of spending it non-stop. So I want to get my third stash tab, and I have not been playing a lot, boys. <laughs> I'm not I'm not your everyday streamer. I only got... I don't even have 800 hours on. So... But yeah, two builds for you. The Zoom Zoom Blast, and then the, uh, the one-shot 
phenomenal winless of destiny, baby. I love it. It's so much fun. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Try and build them up. Give them a run or two. And uh, I'll get a general longsword guide for stats probably this weekend. Or maybe, maybe this one's coming out this weekend. Maybe next week. Count on it. I'd like to do it. By then, I should have the stash tab, and I should have a little bit of extra gold to hunt down other stats so we can make a build and show what, you know, the optimal longsword build that I think for the wipe is going to kind of, you know, settle into. At least for PDR. I don't play anything but PDR longsword. You want other info? You go elsewhere. You want lizard info? You go to Spark. Type deal. <laughs> Alright, guys. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, get out there, blast some wizards, persevere through spell overload nonsense. We'll be all right. If you're having a hard time, stack magic resist, get a shield, get a sword, stack move speed. I know, uh, what's his name? Old Todd Father was probably the reason the uh, cap got nerfed because he's a degenerate running 85-85 and being a lightning rod. But hey, it's it, that's pretty hilarious. So, <laughs> Yeah, that's it. There's your builds. Have fun. Good luck in the dungeon, guys. I'll catch you guys next time. Take care and be safe.